All right, all right, all right. Another busy day here on After Prison Show, folks. A lot of things to share with you guys real quick. Good Lord, hopefully the lighting adjusts. It did. We have the truck back. Just got the truck back from the mechanic. Everything is, everything is operational on the truck, minus an issue with the anti-lock brake system. They said it could be a wire. They said uh, it could be something along those lines. They can't fix that, it's electrical. So every once in a while when you're hitting the brakes, it kind of feels like you're getting in a car accident. It's like But long story short, we got the we got the box truck back. I just got back from DMV as well, folks. We've got the truck registered. Everything is legit on the truck. The title is clean. And Yo, give me a cordless. Cordless what? Uh, a drill? Yeah. Gotcha. Everything is clean on the truck. And everything is ready to rock and roll. Do you need a bit with it? Yes, yeah, Phillips. Phillips, gotcha. So everything's good with the truck. That's awesome news right there. And we've already been advertising for work. I just had somebody call me about moving a couch. All they want us to do is drive. Now, I'm not exactly sure if they're going to come through or not. I told them our minimum price is $50 if we're going to do any kind of driving and delivery. That's what the price is. So we're waiting to hear from them. And we also have a tree job that we got to go bid. And we're getting ready to go bid that in just a couple of minutes. The problem with that is I don't know nothing about tree work. I was hoping it would be like small trees. But if somebody's calling you for tree work, they ain't talking about no small trees. I Google Earth where this person lived at. And what I was able to see was big trees. Here you go. What I was able to see were big trees and power lines. We ain't gonna be able to mess with none of that. So we're gonna have to turn down that job. But the game plan right now is to hurry up and get the truck cleaned out. That way this truck can be ready to rock and roll for deliveries, ready to rock and roll for get going moving. And folks, we're also gonna attempt to dabble in the lawn care, cutting grass. And I wanna show you what, what else we cop. Not only do we got the big box truck behind us, we also have, folks, we got the zero turn. Check out that bad boy right there. Got a sweet deal on that. That thing is damn near brand new. It has a possibly a bad solenoid on it. That's only like a 12 to 20 something dollar part. I can fix that. Watch the YouTube video. I am now a small engine repair man. And we also have this couch right here that could potentially be going today. Uh, we put an ad out for this couch, $115. We've had two people biting on this couch. One person's supposed to come pick it up. The other person uh, is gonna want the couch delivered. So it's going to be a busy day here on After Prison Show. We got a lot of things we're getting done. Jellico's getting the back door put back together on the box truck. Shout out to Jellico up here working hard. Jellico! Yeah? Say hello, man. What's up? Shout out to that guy right there. Cody's upstairs. Cody's right up there. He's editing a video right now trying to help us get caught up. And folks, we're about to get this day underway. I spent 15 hours in DMV this morning. Y'all already know what it is anytime you go to DMV. You can't get there early enough. I got there as soon as they opened. There was a longer line than an R. Kelly concert trying to get in there. That was probably in poor taste. Busy day and looking forward to bringing you guys along on this latest after prison show, Business Venture. All right. Continue on to Main Bridge Boulevard. Up in the box truck, shout out to this guy right here. You. Uh, it's been chaotic. We've got the back of the box. Turn right onto Booker Street. We got the back of the box truck cleaned out and we just went and got a, a call about a landscaping job, a little uh a little grass cutting gig. Angelico, how do you think we did on trying to sell that work? Awesome man. We're, we're, we're the best that ever done it when it comes to uh talk the talk game, man. So you did you did it immaculate. I was pretty impressed actually. Well I greatly appreciate Angelico and I can't do it without this guy. He gives me the confidence to be able to walk up to these people and just say, hey. We're here to get the job done, get her done. Uh, we had some people reaching out about helping us, helping them move a couch. They've not got back in contact with me. I told them $50 just to drive. Uh, but right now we're getting ready to go look at the tree job and I've gotten a chance to look at this job via... Sorry, that was a fire truck going by us right there, a huge fire truck. I've gotten a chance to look at this job via uh, Google Maps. And I think that this is gonna be a little bit out of our comfort zone. Power lines, a huge tree. This is not gonna be just any old tree right here. But nonetheless, we're on our way to go check this job out and uh, we'll see what happens. 
All right, we got the inclement weather that's set in, folks. Windshield wipers on the box truck. These are, this is the test right here to see if they work. Seems like they're working pretty good. We just went and uh, bid a job. We thought it was a tree removal job, and thank God, Jellico, we went and checked that out. Yes, yes, absolutely, man. That's the thing, man. You can't do things over the phone, man. You can't do things over the phone. You don't have to, I mean, we got uh, video chat and stuff like that now, man. That's more helpful. But generally, man, you got to show up and see what you're getting yourself into, man. Well, you got to know what you're getting yourself into. Folks, it's not a tree removal. It's shrub removal. And it's quite a bit of shrub. It's probably a bunch of uh, poison ivy and poison sumac and poison oak and God only knows what. But it's not undoable. I mean, it's not un it's not impossible is what I'm trying to say. And I got a bunch of pictures. I didn't give them a quote right then and there. I want to think about this because this is going to take some hours. This is going to take... Uh, it's gonna be some work right here. Jellico's pretty excited about this. We may be able to put some people to work doing this gig. And we got somebody at the house right now who's buying the couch too, Jellico. I know, right? Brown <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> Take the care of that Brown Beauty. Brown Beauty, they picking up they picking the couch up in the rain right now, folks. With a pickup truck. I thought these people were gonna be BSing, but they're there right now. Cody said, hey, you got somebody coming to pick up a couch? I said, oh yeah, I thought they was going to be BSing me. All right, folks, I got to stop filming for right now. We got to get gas in this thing, and it's raining. All right. Well, the weather has been raining. We got the work truck back. We got a full tank of gas, folks. It cost us $90 to fill up the tank, but we got a full tank of gas. And I told Jellico when we filled it up, I said this will be the only time that we ever fill up this vehicle the game plan is to rent this thing out we've got it all cleaned up check out the back of it we got the dolly in the back this thing looks like a bona fide u-haul now jellico fixed the door on the back as well so that's good to go we're gonna have this whiteboard back here full of rules for when you're renting out this vehicle but our concern is that if we do rent this vehicle out that somebody's just gonna be dogging this because you know when you go get a u-haul everybody thinks they're in the the <laughs> the Daytona 500 all of a sudden. I, I do, so I already know how anybody else is going to think. You see them on Facebook, right? They be doing donuts in them at the racetrack. <laughs> yeah, they be doing donuts on Facebook in the damn U-Haul. Shout out to Cody for that little insightful piece right there. We talked with the guy who had the tree work. We went and looked at that job. That job turned out to be just a bunch of shrub removal. It's a lot of work, though. I've got pictures of it. I'm going to show you those pictures right now. This is the work. We bid this job at $250. Uh, I talked with the guy, he seems pretty on board with the pricing. We're not trying to hurt anybody with the pricing, but it is gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be me and Jellico out there. What? Yeah. You're going to work? You're going, you're going. Yeah, I'm gonna go do this job. Yeah, we need Cody recording that. I'm gonna do this job with you, Jellico. <laughs> and we also got a, a lawn that we're gonna be starting just as soon as the weather clears up. We got the, the zero turn. I don't know why it is. Anytime you get a U-Haul, everybody thinks they're in the Daytona 500, but anytime you get you a zero turn, you a master landscaper now. Yeah. So, uh, with this shrub removal job, we are gonna need some tools. We need a pole saw. We don't have one of those. We need a blower for our landscaping work, and we need to rent out our truck. We definitely need to start recouping some of this $6,100 investment. 71. No, it's 61. Oh, $6,100 is what we've invested in this truck so far. We also sold a couch. Special shout out to Jellico for getting these couches cleaned up. We've got a big old tent in here that we took out of the back of the box truck, but this is the next couch right here that's going on the market, folks. We've cleaned this thing up, or I should say Jellico has definitely cleaned this thing up. I sewed her up. Oh yeah, you sewed it too. That thing's ready to rock and roll. I'm not done yet. You can't look over here. It's not done yet. What about that stain right there, Jellico? Is that going to come off at all? This one is not. I've tried. It was a piece of tape. They come over and we'll sit right here. I don't know what we're going to end up doing with these ones back here, folks. I am concerned about bed bugs. I know a lot of people said bed bugs, bed bugs, bed bugs, Joe. I'm concerned about that with those couches right there. We picked them up off the side of the road. We've picked up all of the furniture that we've been dealing with from the side of the road. That brown couch, I don't know if I got a chance to share this with you. I probably did, but we sold that couch for $115. Got that for free. If you think about the $20 in gas, that we probably spent to go out there to get the couch. So it's probably about 20 bucks we put into that couch and we made like $95 off of it. And real quick, 
as I wrap this up, because I'm not going to make this super long, this is just a little update of the After Prison Show Business Ventures, I want to ask you guys, think about all of the things that we could do with this box truck. Folks, we could put an entire filming studio back here. We could throw these couches in the back and turn this into a, an After Prison Show recording studio. We could turn this thing into a prison cell. We could cut a window out of the side of it where that whiteboard's at, and we could start doing an After Prison Show food truck. Boy, we got the swoles on wheels. <laughs> the swole-mobile. You need a prison meal, you holler at us. <laughs> I think that there's a lot of opportunity and potential with the truck, and I want to wrap this up by asking all of you, what do you think we could do with this truck? You know, if all else fails, we could end up in a, a Walmart parking lot doing donuts. That's sure to go viral, along with the transmission going out. But that's it. Just wanted to share this little update with you guys from me from this guy over here, Cody, and from Jellico back here sewing. Yeah. We bid you farewell.